He's here right now. Uh, I saw him. He's here. He's in custody. Actually, he'll be brought over at some time in the early morning hours. He'll be brought back to uh, his final resting place, the Broward County Jail. Breaking overnight, the Broward Sheriff's Office announcing the capture of Deontay Reziles, the murder suspect that escaped from them on Friday. Our cameras were there as he was taken into jail. Reziles tracked down at a Days Inn Motel in West Palm Beach. And we do have live team coverage for you on his capture. Local 10 News reporter Erica Rako is outside the Days Inn Motel. We'll get to her in just a moment, but first let's start with Local 10 News reporter Ben Kennedy. He's live in Fort Lauderdale. And Ben, you saw him being walked into jail right behind you just moments ago. Eric and JC, you are right. You watched it here live on Local 10. Deontay Reziles uh, was cuffed, uh, surrounded by deputies. Murder suspect as he walked right here behind me into the Broward County Jail. An alleged killer who escaped from the Broward County Courthouse is back behind bars after deputies caught 21-year-old Deontay Reziles hiding out at a Days Inn in West Palm Beach. It's there the sheriff says SWAT was called in just before 11 Wednesday night to make the arrest. Reziles is charged with first degree murder and was in court for a hearing regarding his death penalty status on the day of his escape. Surveillance video caught him run out of an unlocked door after he broke out of his handcuffs and shed his jail attire. He's back in custody in Broward County in South Florida is a safer place. Seven people have now been arrested for aiding in his escape from the Broward County Courthouse. 18 year old Paige Jackson, Reziles cousin, 31-year-old Francine Mezidou was arrested for giving him a wig, color-changing contacts, and clothing. Rizal's girlfriend, the Quay Stern, and Winston Russell, the alleged getaway driver, are being held with no bond. Twins Cratron Barnes and Trayvon Barnes are also behind bars in juvenile detention. They are the ones the sheriff says sat in the courtroom and coughed into his cell phone, signaling Rizal's to make his move. You've been charged, sir, with attempt or escape. Walter Hart, an inmate, was arrested on Wednesday for helping Reziles get out of his shackles before the escape. Less than a week later, Deontay Reziles' murder suspect is back behind bars. In this specific case, uh, perhaps it's because he's uh, 21 years old and uh, his group of uh, friends consisted of people in their teens and early 20s, uh, very little. There was a lot of obstruction. And, and the sheriff's office does suspect there are more people involved in Deontay Rizal's escape. He was on the run for five days. The alleged murderer is now behind bars and set to face a judge. Eric, JC. All right, Ben, thank you so much. We'll check in with you again throughout the morning here for any new developments. But right now, we move to West Palm Beach where authorities found Reziles. Local 10 News reporter Erica Rako is there to really explain how they zeroed in on him. And with so many people involved in this escape, according to police, Erica, was he found there alone? Well, JC, who was found here alone, and the sheriff says the tips have not stopped coming in, but that included a lot of phony tips meant to distract investigators. Still, they followed up on every single one of them, and this tip panned out. This morning, you can see West Palm Beach crime scene investigators are here. They were able to get permission through a signed search warrant to go into the hotel room that he was staying in, and you're looking live at a bunch of brown paper bags. That Those bags are filled with items of stuff taken from that hotel room. So once that tip came in yesterday, the Broward County Sheriff's Office SWAT team traveled north on 95 up to Palm Beach County to check this day's in out. Sure enough, after an intense investigation, the sheriff says officers figured out what room he was in and deputies, along with a task force that had been set up, put up a perimeter and they ordered Rosiles to come out of the hotel room. This is a close up of that room we're talking about, room 149, door left open, the blinds were pulled back. It's on the first floor of this hotel, which is literally right off of I-95 and 45th Street here in West Palm Beach. He came out of the room. He surrendered without incident. He laid on the ground. He allowed us to handcuff him. No force was necessary. There's a great sense of relief. You know, we had a, a man who's on trial for murder. The state attorney is seeking the death penalty. It's a very, you know, it doesn't get more serious than that. And a live look again at all of the evidence that was collected inside that hotel room. What they were able to find, we're still not sure. But we do know in the days after his escape, the sheriff's office said they had gotten information that Reziles was armed. So whether or not they found a gun or another weapon here, again, we are still working to find out. You heard the sheriff say he came out with any problems, though. 
without any problems, I should say. The Crime Stoppers reward was increased to $50,000 yesterday afternoon. Then hours after that, the right tip came in, again, leading officers to Dan Ziles at this day's end. The sheriff says that that reward money will be going to a few different people. We're live in West Palm Beach this morning. Erica Rako, Local 10 News. Eric